Um, you are right that under procedural rules, um, were uh, this writ in front of the district court to fail, it gets increasingly difficult um, to, to mount another legal challenge to it. Um, but on the other hand, if we had a mini STR finding that allows us to pinpoint a particular individual who contributed that aloe, you know, then, then you may be getting up to the kind of evidence that it, it, the, the whole actual innocent thing, thing that I talked about is a way of overcoming procedural objections. It's too late. It's too, as the question there, why, you know, it's now 13 years down the line. It's too late to find out we're wrong about Damien Eccles. Actual innocence gets you past that, and the more actual innocence that you can prove, then the more willing a court is to, to forgive things like procedural delays. Yes. I spoke with Terry Hobbs' attorney, and he implied that this filing, this timing, this forum is a publicity stunt to maybe get press for a movie in the works. What's your reaction to that? Um, Damien Eccles is sentenced to death. If Don and I didn't exist, there would absolutely be an effort um, uh, by someone in, in capital cases uh, to represent them in, in that context. Well, actually, I'll give you a better answer, okay? There has been an attempt to make a movie about this case, and we have, we have written the people who are involved in it and said, we'll kill you, uh, with evidence, with evidence. Let me clarify what I meant to say. <laughs> we will kill your project. And, and, and you are foolish to attempt this because you have no idea of what's going on in this case. And thus, to this day, we've been successful. And, and the last thing we want in this case is a movie. And uh, I can assure you, I will be glad to assure you, that if we can win this case, we will never be involved in a movie. Um, uh, our concern here, we're death penalty lawyers, we're, we're, we, we, we litigate significant issues like this in, in, in many cases, and um, I have never in a death penalty case been able to mount anything like the showing of actual innocence that, that we think has been shown and we believe will continue to drop in this case. Senator Harry, Senator Harry, Senator Harry, And on, on Monday, uh, he, he knew that we were very, very close to filing this, and he said, I haven't been able to sleep all week. And I said, I assure you, neither Don or I have slept all week either. I mean, we were uh, up till 3.30 on, on Sunday morning preparing the final arguments for the filing on, on Monday. Um, you know, he's, uh, when, I, when I first met Damien, and, and all of this DNA stuff was underway, and I find out I'm representing a client who is immersed in DNA testing, which for all I know, he wants me to come in and say he's innocent. And for all I know, after I say that, we're going to get a DNA test that points right at him. And I tried to feel him out about that. And Damien Eccles has from day one said, forensics, DNA, everything. You know, don't, don't avoid anything. You know, don't worry about turning over a rock. Um, I want it, I want it, I want it, and has, has never, ever uh, uh, conveyed uh, any, any uh, uncertainty. I mean, there are DNA cases, and we've had them, where people talk about they want DNA, and they want DNA, and they want DNA, and then you have a private meeting with your client, and, you know, you say, this stuff actually works. <laughs> it, it really works. And um, you've been telling your mother and your sister that you're innocent and they believe it and they support you. Do you really want this DNA test? And they said, no, no, I'd rather just go on maintaining my innocence with my mother and my sister. Um, uh, he, he has been unequivocal that, uh, that the more investigation that is done, the more um, evidence of uh, the absence of evidence uh, against him and, uh, uh, will, will become apparent. And he and he is relieved that things are now are now moving forward after you know so many delays. Yeah. Uh, how many times have you prevailed in cases with like 
of evidence for someone on death row? I alluded to the fact before that federal courts usually talk about actual innocence. I mean, not about actual innocence, but about unfair trials. Right. And I have prevailed in a fair number of cases, both death cases and murder cases, which are non-death cases, over a 30-year career. I have never made an actual innocence claim, because an actual innocence claim is relatively new. It was in 2006 that the United States Supreme Court decided a case called House v. Bell and said that Mr. House had come up with enough new evidence to constitute actual innocence, and therefore he could bring all of his federal claims, even though the state was saying, no, no, there's a problem, they're untimely, and so forth and so on. I will tell you this, and we argue this in the writ, this showing is stronger, is considerably stronger than the showing in House, we believe, in House v. Bell that was declared by the United States Supreme Court by a 5-4 decision to be sufficient to constitute actual innocence. But you don't have to constitute innocence, because they are unfair. Well, certain claims that we've made that the state will have to admit are valid in federal court. There are other claims, for instance, the unfair jury, and they will say, no, 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 it came too late. They didn't get a hold of that until 2004, so you, the federal court, can't hear it. But if the court finds actual innocence, then it says, no, if I find actual innocence, I can hear anything. I can hear anything. And that's the significance of the actual innocence claim. In death penalty litigation, removing all procedural defaults, eliminating all state arguments about it took too long is an enormous, enormous step and an enormous advantage for a litigant. Along with this case, I'm the director of the DNA experts. Over the course of time, it seems that over and over again, it's been different family members who have popped up as kind of being suspects in this case. And I have to ask, if you guys are simply just trying to prove that Damien and these other two boys did not do this, why is there so much focus on Terry Hobbs? Is there really significant enough DNA evidence that can point to Terry Hobbs, especially with the fact that the hair and the shoe string could have come from inside the house? There's been a lot of talk about it. I'm just stressing some of the things I've heard from folks in the region who are familiar with the story. Is this evidence enough to say Terry Hobbs could have really done this? The two hairs that I know about, the one that could, in fact, come from Mr. Hobbs and the other one that could, in fact, have come from Mr. Tipoli, constitute what I call weak evidence because there are other people it could have come from, and there isn't any way to improve our selection of possible sources for that hair. I don't think, my personal opinion is, I don't think that that hair evidence would be enough to convict Mr. Hobbs or Mr. Tipoli or anybody in a similar situation because it's simply not strong enough. The percentages that I gave of people who could be the source of those hairs are 1.5% of the population with respect to one hair and 7% with respect to another hair. That's not particularly strong evidence, and especially in the context of what most people are accustomed to DNA testing. These odds are considerably weaker than what we call an STR DNA test group that virtually provides that hair. And I agree with Tom, and here's the significance of that. If Terry Hobbs or someone who tried on this evidence, a lawyer would be up there saying, how many people are there in West Memphis or in Memphis? 1.5% of them are that. It's thousands of people. That's a reasonable doubt. But the significance of this, because the judge is going to say, would Damien Echols be acquitted? Would a reasonable juror find Damien Echols guilty beyond a reasonable doubt? Is a defense lawyer gets up there and says, there is not one piece of evidence that comes, that points to Echols in nearly as strong a way as the evidence that might point to Hobbs. So that is the, from that point of view, from that point of view, 